Afternoon, my name's Rob. I'm the CEO of Facester. We're a computer vision technology company. We are the first to be integrating facial recognition with fog computing and data mining. We have leaders in the industry, and most importantly, we have a working product. I actually need my clicker or something. <laughs> Alex? Is this? Is, yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. So in the 1990s, you had computers that were very primitive. They're like typewriters. They couldn't do much. And they integrated into the internet, and all of a sudden we saw a wealth of applications and softwares. Now the capabilities of an iPad or a laptop is endless. We saw the same thing happen with mobile phones in the early 2000s. I remember my first mobile phone. You could send a 160-character SMS and a wireless phone call, and this would seem to be amazing. And if you could get it in your pocket, you'd probably limp. It was as heavy as a brick. But them too, when they connected to the internet, started having endless capabilities. There's some things that I can do on my mobile phone that I cannot do on my laptop. Now with surveillance, we've got CCTV cameras everywhere. There's one in the main door where we came in, access cameras at the top of the conference. There's one on the plane that I flew in yesterday as well. These cameras are very good, high resolution and optical zoom. The technology is there, and many of them are already connected to the internet. But they lack infrastructure, they lack functionality, and they have no intelligence whatsoever. There's still a huge space to be going into. We see a world where all video surveillance starts connecting to one platform. This is what we're excited about, because facial recognition has been around for a long time, but you don't see it going forward to the mass consumer. I see a world where all cameras are starting to connect to one platform in a secure manner that can provide intelligence to us, not just to see a situation and hoard videos, just backing up data bytes and gigabytes and gigabytes of data for nothing. We need systems that can see, analyze, and respond, not just to a face, not just to an object, but even to a scenario. Is there a fire in the room? Open all the doors. When you walk into check-in, I see a seamless solution when you go to the airport. You don't need to provide your ID book. You don't need to provide your passport. They can see it by your face, and you walk straight onto your plane. That's the kind of technology that I start seeing that will be working on our platform. With the platform that we develop, services will be built upon this platform. Millions of applications for automated uh, door opening from your payroll. I don't know which way to point it. Fog computing is an important part of this because there's a lot of resources that are needed when calculating computer vision technology. You need power to process what they call, for example, facial hashes, the actual points on your face. But we're not short of power, people. We've got data mining farms, thanks to blockchain and the cryptocurrency environment. We've got miners all over the place. There's a lot of computer power. So this is where we saw a gap. Instead of a person spending two to 3,000 pounds on a server to put into their house for simple facial recognition, you want to see if there's an unfamiliar face walking to your house and you want immediate real-time response to your phone. You can't put such an expensive system in your house or into your small business. How about 10 pounds a month? This is where we're focusing on the mass consumer. We're making it affordable for everybody and not just focusing on B2B and B2G. And that's where the technology has been sitting all the time. It's available to our governments and large corporations. We want to make it available to everybody to make the world a safer place. There are competitors in the industry. But as I said earlier, they focus on B2B and they focus on B2G. None of them are focusing on the mass consumer. And this is where I think we will lead. I really believe in it because we're making it affordable by outsourcing, as I said in the beginning, first slide, with fog computing. This means that the data is being pushed through trusted nodes, it's encrypted over thousands of computers and we pull their, their processing power. It's actually cheaper for us to utilize them as to set up huge centralized servers or even to go to the likes of Amazon and rent out your virtual servers. So this fog computing part is actually very important for us to be delivering an effective and cheap 
product for the mass market. I also believe that we'll be incredibly competitive in a sense that our product has to have a lot of functionality when you're going to the mass market as opposed to just offering something unique to a B2B or B2G. I've already covered most of these points, so I just want to mention that the face to token is at the heart of our product. I cannot sell my product without burning a token. I've got a short video as well to go on that, so I'll jump back to that right at the end, so I won't go further. But we're the first to be offering proof of recognition as well. The convenient applications, what I'm referring to here is not just our applications. As I said earlier, a platform on which other services can connect to. And that's the exciting part about Facebook is that everybody's going to be able to connect to these systems and build up their own fancy ideas on what they could do to make things easier and simpler for us. Monetization strategies. We have got long-term contracts where we can sign up with B2Bs. I already mentioned the, the mining processes from the, the miners and obviously their data farms, which there's hundreds and thousands around the world. We've already signed on with Access, a partnership program. You'll see it on all the cameras in this building. It says Access on the cameras. We are already doing a decentralized process with them where we're actually loading some of our processes directly onto the ARM module. It's fantastic stuff if you can ask me about that later because it's a bit lengthy, but it's really exciting where our technology is running on the camera before it even feeds out. Our token sale is the 1st of February. The pre-sale is only for a month. And the token sale ends on the 30th of April. And we'll be listed on various exchanges, various exchanges. For early investors, it's a good time to jump in. There's some huge bonuses. Please go to facester.io, where you can also download our white paper. Our team, I've got a bunch of guys, much smarter than myself, that each specialize in their fields. This is not our entire team. Some of the guys that we just loaded up on the front here. And if there's something specific that you want to ask, you can always see them at the booth later. And yeah, thank you very much. And now we'll go to this a short video. It gives a nice little description exactly of how we sell the product. And if I can just say it shortly, if a customer wants a license, he comes to us. We have to go to the market, buy a token, burn it to get a license key that will activate his product. Thank you. The way it works is this. Images from the cameras go to trusted nodes and they produce obfuscation or deliberate distortion of the data transferred to those nodes. For this, we use the features of multi-layer convolutional neural networks. You cannot convert this data into the original format, however. This keeps the video confidential, which we think is absolutely critical. Further, the obfuscated and impersonal data are transferred to the decentralized network by the miners in random order. To prevent fraud, we use the proof of recognition model in which we load the high performance nodes with the whole tasks and the other less powerful ones are issued with only fragments of the same tasks. We are then able to compare the results side by side. For the work done, the miners receive a far higher income than existing cryptocurrencies and most importantly and critically, the customers of Facester receive the service at an incredibly affordable price. Calculations with the miners are made by Facester tokens and the guarantee of settlements is a smart contract on the Ethereum platform. Tokens use the Ethereum blockchain platform and correspond to the ERC20 protocol as you would expect. Tokens are not only used for settlements though, it's also used as a fuel for obtaining a license to provide services. The structure of the provision of the services is designed in such a way that the service accepts a video stream only if it is signed by a licensed key. This is the face to token license. The licensed key is a hash resulting from the execution of a smart contract. Then the burning of the face to token will result in the generation of the face to license. It is in this way that Faced is forced to buy and burn its own tokens, which we think is a completely unique feature in the market. The client pays for the service. Faced buys back its own tokens and sends them to a smart contract. The smart contract burns the token and issues the license to the client. The license is then sent to the client.